Welcome to another Donna Downey Studios Artist Gang Tuesday. I'm Andrea Walford from andreawalforddesigns.com and today I'm going to show you how I created this What Do You See art journal page featuring three Donna Downey Studio stencils. So I'm working here in my Large Delusions art journal and my first step was to take a piece of some Tim Holtz printed tissue paper and apply it randomly to my page using some of my golden soft gel matte medium. Now I do like to layer little pieces of tissue one on top of the other when I'm applying it to my page because I like how um, because the tissue paper is translucent you can see the patterns below on the pieces that you place above. Now if you don't have printed tissue paper to work with you can always use book text. You don't really need that translucency. You can also stamp onto regular tissue paper and then apply pieces of that onto your page as well. Now once my gel medium was dry I then took a very thin layer of golden gesso and just brushed it on top and then made sure that that layer was thoroughly dry before moving on. Now in order to add a bit more visual texture I took my Donna Downey Studios glasses stencil and some Liquitex professional spray paint in black and just sprayed it first through the stencil at the top and then I took my stencil, flipped it over and pressed it against my page so that I could apply the negative pattern to my page as well. And then once that was dry to pull that pattern back a little bit I took a little bit more of my golden gesso and applied a very thin layer over top. So once my gesso layer was dry, in order to add some dimensional texture to my page, I then took my Donna Downey Studios mini number repeat stencil. I used an old room key card from a hotel and some of my Dick Blick titanium white heavy bodied acrylic paint and just applied that through my stencil and then let that completely dry. So at this point, once my numbers were dry, I was ready to start adding some color to my page and I chose three of my absolute favorite colors to work with. The first is a teal color, the second is an Indian yellow hue, and the final color is a quinacridone magenta. Now these are all heavy bodied golden acrylic paints and to apply them I decided to use that same old hotel room key card and use it to pick up some color and then just kind of drag it across my page. So I wanted to create a very kind of streaky and pulled effect. I didn't want the same kind of solid coverage that applying it with a paintbrush would give me. Now once that color layer was dry I took some more of my titanium white paint from Dick Blick and used that same key card which I first cleaned off to pull some of that paint across my color just to tone back the color a little bit. So at this point I decided I actually wanted to bring back a little bit more color and I chose this time to apply the exact same colors but using my paintbrush instead of the key card. So as you can see I'm just dipping my brush into the various colors and blending the colors a little bit together. Now in between the colors I am cleaning my paintbrush because I only wanted to have a slight bit of blending. I didn't want to get too much blending. Now when that layer was dry I then took my Donna Downey Studios glasses stencil and a cosmetic sponge and started applying some heavy bodied carbon black golden acrylic paint through the stencil to get some of that glasses pattern in various areas going all the way from my page and it started in the top right working towards the middle left and then back towards the bottom right. So now I wanted to create kind of an area of quiet space. So for that I used the Donna Downey paint swatch stencil and applied some carbon black heavy bodied acrylic paint through the stencil using a cosmetic sponge. Now although I could have freehand painted that black uh, splat I decided to use the stencil because I really liked the ragged edges. So now I came back with my glasses stencil and applied some paint through that stencil to extend the pattern a little bit beyond the edges of that black uh, painted area. And one of the things you may notice as I continue on with the creation of this page is that I do go back a few times with my stencils to kind of extend and broaden the area as I sort of figure out what it is that I want to do with my art journal page. Now because the focus of this page is really about how we choose to look at life, I wanted to bring those glasses back in to really emphasize that this page is about how we see the world. So in order to be able to create that strong contrast between the glasses that I was sponging onto my page against the black, I opted to use that titanium white paint from Dick Blick. Now then I decided I needed a little bit more of that black quiet space. There was still too much of that color showing through. So I applied some more carbon black paint with my cosmetic sponge through that paint swatch stencil. 
Now, because the glasses had such a fun and whimsical feel to them, I decided that for my sentiment, I wanted something that was fun and whimsical as well. And I also didn't have any stamp that was kind of suitable for the saying or quote that I was thinking about for my art journal page. So I dug into my stash of old alphabet stickers. This is um, thicker is from American Crafts and chose this pattern that I thought complemented the page really nicely. And initially, I just started off by laying them lightly on my page, even though they're adhesive, that adhesive will not stick long term onto acrylic paint. So you do have to come back and stick it down. But as you can see there, I was trying to figure out my placement. And then when I realized I needed some more black space, I once again came back with my stencil to expand that black space. And then I also used the stencil to expand that area that I had on the right side of my page just above my glasses. And so then here, once I finally knew where I wanted my um, words to be placed on my page, that's when I came back with some more of my soft gel medium and a small paintbrush and just applied it to the back of each of my letters and then stuck those down to my page. So and then my final step was to come back and darken up those glasses a little bit. So I took some more of that titanium white paint from Dick Blick and my cosmetic sponge and just started applying it through my stencil over top of the first layer that I had done. So I lined my stencil with the previous pattern that I had stenciled on there and then extended it by one set of glasses just above. And then at that point, once I had finished that, my page was done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I look forward to creating with you again.